The big idea behind Rub Smoke Love for me was really to get into those cuts of meat and preparations that most home cooks never think to do under the idea that they're just too involved, too complex, and not worth the effort. But the difference between pastrami, for example, homemade versus the store-bought store -bought stuff, it's two different universes. Two things now have happened, I think, that make this doable. First and foremost, obviously, is the beefcake product that we use to make our pastrami. But second of all, you can work from the midpoint. Buy a packer corned beef from one of these big box stores and save yourself a lot of that labor on the front end. Let's get into it. Critical first step to ensure that our end product is not too salty, we need to soak the corned beef in water to help remove the corning solution. Think about two hours per pound in the fridge. Remove the beef from the water, spread it with that nice plain mustard, and then just go crazy with that beef cake. You're trying to cover all surfaces here, both sides obviously, top and bottom, but also all the other sides. Uh, you want to really cake this thing on, we call it beef cake for a reason. Into the smoker at 225, wood chips of my choice would be a blend of oak and mesquite. Cooking here to an eternal temperature of 204, don't take it out, no wrapping, no foil, nothing like that, just cook it low and slow. At this point, you have a decision to make. You can simply let this thing rest for 10 to 15 minutes and slice it warm with a big slicing knife. Nice thin slices. You will not be disappointed. Uh, but for this video, I'm going to double wrap it in foil because I want to firm it up in the fridge for a couple hours so I can send it through my deli slice. Pull it out. You see the wonderful moisture retention inside the meat in that out-of-this-world beef cake crust coffee in the formula some of these other spices are sort of engineered by how i did this formula the bond make that succulent crust on the outside absolutely perfect tremendous color on the inside uh, the fatty layer is still there that's a tremendous burst of flavor that you do not want to trim on the front end you need that fat in here for the end um, and i send it through the slicer on sort of a paper thin setting because I want these almost translucent, outrageously tender, thin, well-colored pieces, almost like a Romanian prosciutto here. Uh, it's just so, so very good. We're gonna send the rest of the meat here through, make all the rest of these little meat ribbons, and at the end, you're done. You've made homemade beefcake pastrami, a very straightforward recipe that anyone can nail. You'll never wanna eat store-bought again.